G'day everyone, my name's Kerry Corney and today I'll be showing you how I turn this Queensland red stringy bark bowl, how I finish it off as second turned. So originally this bowl came from a blank that looks like this, 16 inch by 6 inches deep and then I cut it into a circle and then core it with the woodcut bowl saver. Once I cored it, I put this blank into a box in of 25 kilos of silica gel balls and it was part of a competition that I'm doing on my channel where the people had to guess how long it would take for the silica to dry it out and it only took three days for it to get this blank under 14% moisture content. The blank at the time was 16 inches in diameter and an inch thick by six inches deep. So it was quite a hefty blank. I've now finished turning it as a second turn bowl and the people in the second stage of the competition have to guess the weight to the closest gram to win the bowl and I'll send it to them anywhere in the world. So let's get into it. Let's turn this bowl. Righto. <laughs>
which is bad. I'm just going to clean that up and I'll do a shear scrape with that. I'll do that now, show you. Figuring out the foot, all I'm going to do, feed it through the back, my ruler, so once I remove that, it'll be 380, let's go 370, divided by 3, so 123 for the foot, 123 mil for the foot, so all I do is... Bring the ruler down here. So I know that that chuck that I'm about to put on or use after is 120 mil. So all I'll do is probably keep the foot as with this. I don't like finishing the spigot off or your tenon until I'm I've done a few heavy cuts and then a few trim. I'll still need to take some more of that torn grain. I'll remove that. I'll do one more little push cut. But I'll mark this tenon up and I just keep this pre pre marked. But on my wall, on my little wall here, I have a trusty Dubalaki where I just can walk up to it and just get it straight away. And that fits these these chucks. This chuck here, the M120. It's a Vic Mark chuck. The best in the biz. So I'm just going to mark this spigot. All I did then to get the spigot with my tenon was measure the diameter and divide it by three. So one third. That gives it a nice shape. So one a foot is or it should always be. Well, the rule of thumb is one third of the width of the pile. And now I just bring this guy around the tail stock. I bring the banjo around to the tail to the tail stock. Make sure this is all leveled up. I'll give you a solid profile. Yeah, I've got one. Look at I'm on me yarn and tear. It's a little bit lonely. I've been working away in here today like a little Mavic. Helmet on. Do a little mark. I know that I need to go to the right. Back. On. Only the left side touches level height, work over the top of the tail stock. So a woodcut bulk gouge on a 45 degree bevel angle. I don't have a I don't have the heel taken off. And then all I do is get my banjo, get it to the I have it marked on the height that I need and then work away. Hands on the ferrule, down low, sorry. Guts. My hands down on the ferrule. Do a chisel. I'll bring you in. Because I don't have a diamond point scraper. And this is the way I'll shine.
circle, so that should be spinning to the tree. Tighten it up with this guy as well. Cool. 55 to Dean Thompson. Pick a lot. This is how I was shown, right? So, just, yeah. Probably another way of doing it, but.
Hold it on my arm like that. I use staples and, and bowl gouges, but I'm not up to the not up to the point where I'm just using purely bowl gouges. So hopefully that time will come and that'll be yeah, that'll be a day. ashamed of using scrapers because this is what they started with these tools here scrapers so traditional way so we're going to move on to sanding let's get into it shine from UV polishes. Get your cloth and fold it over and over again so you don't burn your hands. Scoop it out and I'll turn the lathe down low. Take it quite hard. And now the trick is to get your rod, what a flannelette, and then fold it into a square that's nice and thick so you don't burn your fingers because you have to burn this into the timber. Dot it on there, turn the lathe down, just get it rolling. Fingers halfway down. Get rid of that bit of, yep. And then don't move your fingers once you've put it on. Keep your fingers still, work the oil all over. Hello Rose darling. All over and then crank the speed. 
not moving your fingers at all and work that oil down burning it into the timber the trick is to not move your fingers at all keep them in a steady position the whole way halfway down the cloth and burn that oil in makes the grain absolutely pop Show you how the Big Mark VL240 rotates the head. Move you over there, come on. Loosen off. Loosen that off. Normally I don't take the pin out completely. Normally I just leave it in there a little bit because I don't want to attract dust down into the hole, but anyway, I have cleaned cleaned up after myself before. Tighten that back up. That's that's just connected to a Vicmark VM120 chuck. I'll just hold it, present it up against the thread until it finds itself and then start rolling it on. And I always give it a flick at the end. Face shield. And I tend to put a shirt over the top of these. So I found one that's perfect for the job, covers the whole, whole area. And then uh, have that all lined up there like that. Make sure it's on. Yep, and then I just line him up. And that's why I like these long handled Allen keys. Because you're not having to mess around at the back behind here. I'll just check it. Right. I could have cut the shirt down, but I, I'm not cutting that shirt. There's no way. That's why I have to use all the tape. <laughs> but I am not cutting this shirt ever. I don't think they make them anymore. It's bloody souvenir. It's bloody, it's bloody worth a lot of money one day, that.
bark ball. Just feels really nice. Got the brand underneath there. Let's do a measure. 14 centimeters, 140 mil, and 36 centimeters wide. So, for those that are in the second stage of the competition, it is now your time to shine and guess how much this bowl weighs. The person to the closest gram wins this bowl and I'll ship it to you anywhere in the world. Thank you so much for watching this wood turning video that uh, put together. It's the first one of many that I'm going to be doing and uh, it's going to be awesome to look back in a few years time and, and just to see how far, how far along the journey along I'll be going and, and to watch my skills improve as I, as, I, as I progress through this journey. So I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you go back and check out the weekly wrap for those that are new here. Thank you very much, weekly wrap crew. I will see you soon. Cheers, bye.